Hello, dear friends. Welcome to this video. In this video, we will be discussing one of the problem where we have the n logs and the n corresponding keys, which are available, but the actual combination is not known. We will be thinking about the two scenarios over here. The one could be the maximum, and the other could be the minimum number of trials that could be needed to assign the keys to the corresponding locks. What is minimum as well as we'll be think about, thinking about what is going to be the maximum trials that are required. So we will think about both the scenarios one by one. First, assume that I have this n locks and this n keys. First, I will think about the maximum trial. For the maximum trial, what do I see? I am going to try this first key now. The first key can be tried in n locks. Right? So what I find out, my first key, my first key can be tried in n logs. So I can say for the first key, I have n different ways to try. And now for the second key and now after I am done with the first key, after I am done with the first key, now I will go for the second key. Uh, for an example, let it be like the first key is for the second lock. I am done with this. Now the second key would have n different locks to try. One thing that we need to understand is we have to think about the worst possible case, right? So in the worst case, the second key could be tried in n minus one locks. So it is n minus one ways. Now, once I'm done with this and now I will try for the third key. Now, as you can see the pattern, for an example, let this be for the third one. So now if I say the third key would have n minus two locks left with. So in the worst case, I have to try n minus two locks. So n minus two ways. Similarly, if I go further in this way, what we get, we get one key, two key, three key. Similarly, I will be on the last key, which I have to try in the single lock, which would be left. So it is one way. So what do we see over here? We see that for the first, second, third and dot 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 till n, we have n, n minus 1, n minus 2 till 1. Now one of the simple thought that we need to have clear over here is what is the word that we are using it between is and. And as per the fundamental principle, what do we know? The fundamental principle of counting says that Whenever you have end, you should multiply. But one small thing that we need to keep in the mind is this must be simultaneously. Right? This is perfectly all right that whenever you see the word end, you should multiply. But that thing need to be done simultaneously. Am I trying the first, second, third key, all the keys together? No. What I am doing is, I am trying the first key. Once I am done with it, once I am totally done with it, then I try the second one. Right? Then I try the second one. So, since this is not done simultaneously, this is done one after the other one. So, in such cases, what we are supposed to do? So, what I did see? I see the first key is done with n ways. I'm done with this. After that, I am having extra n minus 1. So in those n, I need to add this n minus 1. Once I'm done with the second key, I will go for the third key. Right? So once I'm done with those way, I'll go for the n minus 2 ways. So I will add them. So and similarly, I have to go till 1 in this way. 
so the total weighs total maximum weighs the total maximum weighs would be n plus n minus 1 plus dot 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 till 1 so this is nothing but the sum of first n natural number so the sum of first n natural number is basically given by the formula n n plus 1 by 2 it is n n plus 1 by 2 this is going to be the maximum ways in which we can do so one of the basic thing that i wanted to clear over here is over here we are doing the word with n we are going with the word n the first key and the second key but this is not done simultaneously this is like i am done with the first key then whatever ways i have after that i am after done with the first key then i am trying second key later on right so since this is not done simultaneously, I don't have to multiply them. I just have to simply add the number of ways to get to the answer. Right? Now, similarly, if I give you the case for minimum trials. So in case of a minimal trial, I will have the similar point of view. The point of view is like, I'll go for the first key. The first key that I have I will try to apply this key, but in my mind, I am like, I have to go for the minimum number of trial. For the minimum number of trial, what I will do? In the worst possible case, what can happen? My key will not work from 1 till n minus 1. So if in the worst case, I see from first lock, second lock, third lock, it is not working till n minus 1. So if I find out till n minus 1 log, if it is not working, then definitely that key will be for the nth log. So I will not try for the nth log since I want to get the minimum trials. So what do I see over here? For the minimum trial, if I have n logs, I will just try for n minus 1 log. So if it is not applicable anywhere in n minus 1, that key must be for the nth log. So for the first, I will have n minus 1 way. And now after I am done till this, now after this, not simultaneously, but after this, I will have the second key. The second key will have how many ways? So now once I am done, for an example, let it be the first lock is for the first one. Now I am left with n minus 1 lock. But again I will not try n minus 1 lock. I will only try n minus 2 lock. 1 lock less. In the worst possible case I will try for n minus 2 lock. If it is not applicable anywhere that key must be for the last lock. So what I observe here I can get n minus 2 ways. Right. Similarly, for the third key, if I observe, the third could key would be for n minus 3 ways. And if I just go further like this, if I see for uh, n minus 1 key, if I think about n minus 1 key, it would be having how many ways? It would be having only, suppose if I have n minus 1 key, so I have 2 key left. Right? And I have two locks left because n minus 1, I would have n minus 1 lock, right? And n minus 1 key as well over here, right? So I will, at the end, I would be left with two locks and two key. So for n minus 1 key, I would say since I have two locks, I will try in one of them. I will try only in one of them. If that key is for that lock, I am done. If it is not for that, I will not try the other one. It will be definitely for that lock only. Right. So for n minus 1 key, I will be having only one way. And for the last, I don't have to think because it is already for the last lock. Right. It would be for the last lock zero ways. You see the difference over here. For the minimum case, whatever is the logical, we are not doing it. But for the maximum number of ways, we are still trying. 
since for the last one i said it is one v since that was a lock and i had the key i was just trying it again since i want to think about the maximum ways i can work on it but when i'm thinking about minimum i'm not doing which things are very much obvious right so the la last key last lock is very much obvious but for the maximum way we are counting it for the minimum way since we want as less as possible we are not counting so to get the total number of minimum ways we just have to add for the total minimum ways i just need to add the number again why i need to add the number since they are not done simultaneously this is one after another so it is just adding into it right now total number of ways would be n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus uh, n minus 3 and so on till what i have to add till 1 if we observe this n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 we can see it is sum of first n natural number right it is similar to it so it is from first to n minus 1 so it look like n minus 1 right what do we see for 1 to n the formula for the sum is the thing but n n plus 1 by 2 so for 1 to n minus 1 it would be n minus 1 into n minus 1 plus 1 the whole divided by 2 and what do we see over here this minus 1 plus 1 will get cancel so we are left with n n minus 1 by 2 so this is the answer and this is something which looks like n c 2 right this just simply looks like n c 2 right so this would be the final answer for minimum number of trial for maximum number of trial we had this way right i hope you understood both the scenario and got the clarity why we need to add and not the multiply the number of ways right So these are the two approach I hope you understood the solution if so don't forget to like the video share it with your friend and subscribe to the channel okay thank you so much for watching this video till then